Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to bring you guys with us for a grocery run here in Italy. It might be interesting for those of you who are wondering about the prices, wondering about the product. Stay tuned because at the end of the vlog, we'll do a haul, show you what we got and show you the prices of everything. Let's get to shopping. We're at Toadies and it's a good place maybe like this is where I like to get um, certain things that are much cheaper but sort of of the same quality if you were to get them somewhere else. So here I'll get tofu, peanut butter and then kind of just take a look. And then there are some things where there is an obvious qualitative difference so I don't get it here but let's take a look. I'm gonna grab some tofu. Uh, you know what we could try from here too? We're sort of on the mission to find the best granola, and so far I haven't tried any better than what it makes. But every time I make it, I burn it. So, okay. that era is bygone. And now we are on my way to my guilty pleasure, which is a store called Naturasi. And, yo, I think he wants to go too. Um, that's kind of like the Whole Foods of Italy if you were to make an American equivalent. Um, except it's not owned by Jeff Bezos, so andiamo. You guys, I feel like I'm gonna get roasted on the channel, but if you know, you know, kombucha. Gotta get that probiotic boost for my gut. Can we try a new tea? Santa. Mm. Should we get some Rattler? Guys, I'm a sucker for like greenwashing for this kind of marketing. It gets me every time and I am seriously always begging question mark to take me to Naturasi. <laughs> I'm depressed. How many items did we buy? Five items, arrows, price breakdown to come. I have nothing to say about Doc, actually. Vanilla soy yogurt. I'm wondering if we should get another like flavored olive oil. Would you like to get the one with chili? Yeah. To prendere questo pezzo di pizza bianca, per favore. I kind of need to get out of here. But I don't like being in here right now. I'm tired. Let's go. So we're home now, back from all the grocery shopping. And now we're gonna give you guys a full haul of everything that we got. This isn't the most typical grocery run for us. I would say we got a real mishmash of products. In Italy, it's more typical for people to go grocery shopping a couple of times a week, whereas in the US, back where I'm from, maybe you'll go grocery shopping once a week and get a bunch of stuff. But I feel like we got a nice variety of products so we can give you guys an idea as to what the prices are like at uh, grocery stores in Italy. The first store we went to is Todis. At Todis, we spent a total of 9 euros and 95 cents and we got a package of vanilla soy milk. We got two boxes of tofu containing two pieces of 200 grams a piece, I think. We got a bag of tortilla chips for when we watch our movies or need a snack or want something salty. And I always get my peanut butter at Chili's too because the ingredients are the same, the packaging is ugly, but it costs much less at Todi's than it would anywhere else. Next shop that we went to is Naturasi. Naturasi? Write in the comments. No, don't, don't write in the, no more comments. No, okay, the next shop we went to is Naturasi. They specialize in organic food and those kind of like eco products. As I've already mentioned, I'm a real sucker for this kind of marketing and I love to spend money there, but I won't lie, I was shocked when 
The total for these five products came out to 19 euros and 47 cents. We got one bottle of unalcoholic beer. We got a bottle of kombucha. We got a box of tea, Riyasante, for relaxing at night. We have like a lot of caffeinated tea, so I thought I would grab another box of uncaffeinated tea. This is bomb. We got these filet, tofu filet, made with orsino garlic. And then we got a pack of incense. In the moment, it felt like a must, and now I'm questioning because it was quite expensive. In any case, what is it? Juniper. Mm. Okay. The final store that we visited was Doc. And when I just need to grab a couple of things, that's usually where I go. I would say that's sort of like the most generic grocery store. Obviously, it depends on your preferences. It depends on your budget. I'd say we shop at Doc the most. Natura C is like a treat. And Todis is, I would say, more practical because some of these products are just too expensive elsewhere. So at Doc, like I said, we got a real mishmash of products here. Nothing is really typical of our grocery run except a couple of things that I'll point out, but I did not have any more lemon juice and I needed to stock up on that. So we got some Suco di Limone di Sicilia, Sicilian lemons only in this house. Vanilla soy yogurt, very, very good. Some granola to go with our vanilla soy yogurt a package of feta cheese, a package of vegan ragu. I said this in the grocery store and I will say it again. This, this is, is the, the best, best product, product that, that Italy has ever, ever invented. invented. So. We got two packages of ravioli. The first one with burrata and basil. The second one, even more bougie, is pumpkin and truffle. We got a bit of pizza bianca, which is sort of a type of focaccia. We got a bottle of chili oil, extra virgin, yum. A bottle of vegan mayonnaise. Pack of pasta, we're in Italy. Piece of organic parmigiano, we're in Italy. Ache juice, which is an acronym for vitamin A, C, and E. So we got carrots, we got lemons, we got oranges, all those vitamins packed up in this bottle. And then a new staple in our household since our video where we tested food, Italian products. I will link you all to that right here, right here. I don't know, but go and check that out. Candy pecans. The total that we spent at Doc. 46 euros, that's pretty expensive. So, all of this for a grand total. Actually, this feels so expensive. I really don't think we usually spend this much on groceries. Why don't you guess? I hope you didn't do the math in your head when I said what all of them were. 70 bucks, 76. So you did do the math. Makes sense, because you were wrong. The grand total, oh, why you look so confused if you didn't do the math? <laughs> the grand total. Write in the comments. 75 euros and 44 cents. I said 76, and that's expensive. That is expensive. So how much do you think, for example, a couple needs to spend on grocery for uh, in a week? That's a good question. I think that we could easily get by on, to be honest, I think 70 a week. If I was on a 70 euro budget a week, I would be buying a lot more like uh, basic products, if that makes sense. Things like rice, pasta, etc. Another surprise for people who are moving abroad, and it really depends on where you're coming from. So I feel like sometimes I often address an American audience, but I don't think we've ever mentioned this before, that it went without saying, but uh, question mark is not American. Oh. However, to address our American viewers, um, products in Italy go that a lot quicker than those in the United States because they are not so full of preservatives. There are a lot more restrictions and regulations as to the quality of products here in Italy and you can taste it. I mean, here it may seem like we don't eat any produce. I actually prefer to grab my produce from the produce stand, so that's why there's no produce here in this grocery haul. But for instance, the quality of the fruits and vegetables in Italy is night and day compared not only with the United States, but also with Germany. I have many friends who don't like tomatoes, and when they come to Italy, 
like suddenly they can eat tomatoes because the quality is just astounding. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Maybe it was somehow engaging for you in the sense that comparing the products where you're from and the prices with those here. I find that shopping, uh, grocery shopping in Italy is a lot cheaper than in the United States. That's one thing that I really appreciate, especially because you're even getting a better quality. So have a nice rest of your week and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. But, oi. Hello. We got Maya back on the channel. Back again. This looks really yummy. This is the first thing I saw. Mm. This crunchy bio al cacao, vegan. Ooh. Yeah, it seems chocolatey, lovely with some yogurt, which I'm always a big fan of. And you got the yogurt. I think I would eat peanut butter mm. yeah. any day, all day. With the this vegan. and the yogurt, that could be really good. Mm. That could be really yummy. Yeah, good, good place. Is it truffle? Yeah. That's lovely. Truffle. Yeah. And I think I'd eat most of the things here. Do you like kombucha? I love kombucha. You I was actually kombucha. wondering if this really was kombucha. That's crazy. Stay tuned and subscribe. <laughs>